It's been a fun week celebrating 25 years over at Grassmere, the zoo with the Nashville Zoo. And it's Friday, and that means our favorite. The Flamingos! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Could it's be gonna our be a favorite good day. morning video. They're fan favorites, too. Did yeah. you know the zoo actually has a couple of flamingos turning 25? What? Their names are Mickey and Holly. But these birds are not the only stars. So each day, Danielle Breezy has been visiting with one of the neat animals that you can see. And today's segment is, let's say, supersized. We are at the Rhino Habitat, and joining me is Nicole. And we got to talk about this. These folks are endangered, and they really like their horns. Why is that? So their horns are just made of keratin, which is the same as our fingernails and our hair. Um, but unfortunately, in a lot of Asian cultures, it is believed to have medicinal value. So it's just like a really old belief that their horns can cure everything from the common cold up to now cancer um, or be an aphrodisiac. So in those cultures, that's just so ingrained and believe that, that they will poach these animals, take their horns, grind them down into a powder, and then sell it. And it is remarkably valuable, even though it's actually not valuable at all because right. everybody has it. But it's just so ingrained in those cultures that it's still really high in the black market, unfortunately. I was going to say, now, they're part of your SSP plan. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so SSP stands for the Species Survival Plan. Um, basically, it's a worldwide organization that monitors different species as long as it's a participating species and they keep track of the genetic lines of those animals they tell us which animals can breed with it which animals to make sure that their genes are not being overrepresented um, and then they just kind of control the population in theory if we were able to curb poaching mm -hmm. and kind of mm -hmm. solve that problem in the wild we could reintroduce these animals to the wild and repopulate the wild because we can use each continent has their own population so to speak so europe has a population Australia has a population the um, North America has a population um, and we could use those for diversity and genetics to recreate a wild population if we can control the poaching unfortunately we're not going to do that while they're still being poached at this rate right. but um, yeah when SSP stepped into place and zoo stepped into place in 1901 we were able to bring the white rhinos like we have back from about a hundred animals in the wild to they're at about 16,000 right now which is amazing so, which and that's all due to zoos stepping in and helping and we're hoping maybe we can get a baby rhino. We're hoping. Um, so these rhinos are still pretty young. They're all turning eight this spring. So in the next like two months, they'll all be turning eight, okay. um, which is young for them. Males kind of become sexually mature at around five to seven. Um, so hoping we have at least one female regularly cycling and he does show interest in her. So as long as they can figure it out. Well, let's hope we get a rhino baby. All right. Thanks yeah. so much. Uh, we'll send it back to you. Been quite the birds and bees week mm, here. It on, really on has. Morning Nashville, hasn't it? Learning mm. a lot. Uh, Danielle, appreciate those reports. If you missed any of the reports, you can always watch them at WKRN.com. Don't forget, stop by our social media channels for bonus animal features as the Nashville Zoo marks 25 years at Grasmere, right off Nolensville Pike in South Nashville. It's a wonderful time of year to oh go my gosh, there. It is. It really is.